Hi, this is Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to clean your Bernina machine. I have a Bernina Activa 240 and this procedure will probably work with pretty much any of the Activa 200 series machines. But um, please check your own manual. So the first step to cleaning your machine is to actually turn the machine off and to unplug your machine. So the first step is to remove your presser foot and the needle from the machine so you can get to it. And then you can press, there's a, butt, a, a little bullseye on the corner here and you can press that to pop up the presser foot plate and take that off. And as you can see, my machine is a mess. So you can see all this lint in here, and there is a lot. I apparently haven't cleaned my machine for a while. So you use a soft tip brush to get clean all around in here. The brush you have, you probably got a brush with your machine if you bought it from a dealer. I know this brush came with my machine. So I'm just going to brush around in here. And the other thing you can do is blow in there to try to blow some of the lint out. So that's pretty much how you clean the top. The top part, there's not as much to it. So then you have to open your bobbin uh, area and you remove the bobbin. The next step is you remove the hook race cover. So by to do that, you press this little latch on the side, and then this flips down, and then this is the hook race cover. So with the hook race cover down, you can clean around the cover with your soft brush. Don't use anything rough to clean, pointy. The next thing you pull out is, this is the hook race, or the hook itself. So you pull that out, and make sure you know how you pulled it out so that you'll be able to put it in again in the same orientation because you don't want to get confused. So then, again, you just brush out everything in here. I'm getting all this little lint out of there. So once you have it all the lint out, and if you're wondering, the lint comes from the fabrics that you sew, and little bits of the fabrics come off and the thread and everything of the fabrics and they end up in the bottom here. So then you reassemble the, the machine in the backwards order from what you took it apart. So I'm going to place my hook back in to its spot and then I flip the hook race cover up and, and make sure that it's snapped in place. On these machines, it's also recommended that you oil them. Um, some machines don't need to be oiled, but others do. These Berninas do. The oil came with my machine in this little container. And they, it's, it says in the instructions that you put two to three drops on the hook race. So, that, so I'm going to put a couple drops in there. I'm done at the bottom. Oh, I can put the bobbin back in. And then I'm done at the bottom. Then we reassemble the top part, and I just put the, the plate back in. Oops, there we go. So before I can run my machine, I need to plug it back in, and I can then turn it on. So then I'm going to run the machine a bit to spread that oil around. And 
And it is surprising how much smoother it seems to run after you put the oil in. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Google+. Visit our website by clicking the i card to find link the links to follow us. If you are on Pinterest, pin our projects to your wall. This is a great way to keep track of your favorite projects and tutorials. Visit our website needlepointers.com to find lots of other sewing projects and tutorials.